this, this guy right here thinks that carbonated milk is a good idea. Yeah. And he, he might be right. I don't know. We'll he find out. So I think Amanda came up with the idea for us to have some eggnog with Coke in it because of the guy at the grocery store that mentioned carbonated milk. When they would have eggnog, they would put a little bit of soda in it. I think carbonated milk is a terrible idea, but Amanda thought it might work. And it reminded her and me of when we saw people on YouTube trying Japanese snacks. So maybe somewhere it would work, who knows. So today on Internet Land, this happened where this guy tries so hard to protect his PIN number. So where I'm at, I've never had anybody creeping up behind me while I'm trying to put my PIN number in. But if I did, I'd totally do what this guy did. I'd wear a flasher trench coat so that everyone thought I was about to turn around and flash them. Because when I first watched this video on Reddit, I was sure the guy was a flasher. Turns out he's just protecting his PIN number. On a related note, today on Reddit, everyone is wiggling the card readers on the ATM machines. Some people are actually finding counterfeit card readers attached to the ATM machines, and other people are just breaking the ATM machines. There was one more thing I noticed on here that I wanted to talk about. Username SSECN number 8 JX is going to tattoo a goose on his ass because his post got 2,000 upvotes. Um, and that's really happening, so if you're interested, just, I guess, Google Goose Tattoo Reddit. Yep, it's the second hit on Google right now. I'm sure it'll make it to the top. People will do anything to get high on Reddit. But I do have a friend, well, Chris Spurrier. He's in my videos. He has a hot dog on his knee, and that's his coolest tattoo. But his most risque tattoo is YOLO swag. YOLO swag. Actually, not even that. Hashtag YOLO, hashtag swag, right there on his wrist. I believe he did it on a dare. Maybe he was drunk. Maybe he's just that cool. I'm not sure. So we're about to go into Whole Foods and get some toiletries and some other items. Uh, we pretty much never go to Whole Foods. The stores around our house pretty much carry what we like. We're not like hippies, are we? We're kind of like hippies. <laughs> we're like gr growing up hippies. <laughs> anyway. We're actually still at Whole Foods in the parking lot and we got stuff. Yo. 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 We went there for soap, deodorant, smell good stuff, lotion. Um, sundries. Sundries, Amanda says. The thing is, like, you can buy this stuff on Amazon for, for less, for a better price, but you can't smell it. So you go to Whole Foods and find the ones you like, you know, buy them one time, and then if you really want to get that again, you reorder it on Amazon or wherever you like to reorder it from. We're going to go to Half Price Books, and this is what, when me and Amanda get home, we'll be like, that was a good date, because when we go on a date, usually we eat some food and go to Half Price Books. That was like our anniversary celebration for like five years in a row once. So we're gonna go have an anniversary celebration real quick. We're stuck flipping through the albums. There's always something good. If you stop halfway through, you miss the best thing. Found three good albums. We're gonna wander around now and maybe head back home. This tree is full of birds. They're going crazy. So we're here at the grocery store. Uh, Madison needed to do some shopping and we needed to do some shopping, so we've teamed up. He, he might be right. We'll find out. We went to the grocery store, we're back now. Amanda's making some nachos, we're having the eggnog. I guess I guess it's because of the guy at the store that mentioned uh, the carbonated milk. Let me show you the albums we got from Half Price Books. Steely Dan, Royal Scam, Ultimate Musician Album. Macabre. You don't say the Ray? Nah, I think you just say Macabre. Ravi Shangar, Transmigration Macabre. I've actually never heard this one before, but Amanda loves Hindi music um, and sitar music. So I know that one's gonna be awesome. And probably the coolest thing to me is Bob Dylan, Nashville Skyline. Um, it's a fantastic album. An interesting thing about Nashville Skyline is that it's kind of Bob Dylan's country album and he doesn't sing in his signature Bob Dylan voice. He has a different voice he uses for this album, but uh, it's where Lay Lady Lake came from, which is one of the most popular examples of incorrect grammar of all time. No, not really. Lay Lady Lay is definitely the song from Nashville Skyline that people may have heard um, if they're not, you know, Bob Dylan fans. Uh, everyone should be a Bob Dylan fan. I went to the Half Price Bookstore and came out with quarter price music, so can't beat that. I think all three of those records was 20 bucks. So it wasn't a crazy steal, but it was still a great deal. Uh, 20 bucks 
for a priceless amount of music. Oh, one thing I will show you from my Whole Foods trip is this awesome amber sandalwood. Here, smell. Don't you wish it worked that way? Although, then I fear that people would send really bad smells into our houses. After doing that bean boozled, I'm worried about the scents and tastes. Go smell it at your local Whole Foods. It is Kumba Amber Sandalwood Fragrance Oil. So if you're curious about what I smell like, I smell like that. And anyway, I I'm gonna get out of here now and go eat some nachos. Homemade nachos, can't go wrong. Um, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you are, hit that bell up there and that will let you know every time I make a new video. And also, please share my stuff with your friends. That's how new people find me. So it really helps me out. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching. Yeah.